day 485 22 for 22 good morning i hope this finds you well please stay in your fight and don't quit all right it's another edition of red friday it's also december 7th 1941 uh, uh remembrance uh i realize it's 2018 that was 74 years ago i think um we lost 2404 soldiers sailors and marines on that fateful day. Um, 1,177 on BB-39 USS Arizona alone. Um, it is what brought us into World War II and cemented, uh, well, it helped cement our uh, position as one of the world's superpowers uh, once we got done dealing with the, Ger the Germans and the Japanese. Also on that day, German, or I think it was December 8th actually uh, Germany declared war on us which brought us into the European theater so in one about two hour attack we ended up in we're operating in both theaters <laughs> um, brutal war PTSD I'm sure abounded out of that one especially out of the Pacific because um, that was just brutal um, and I would assume Europe too, because what I've read of both both theaters, neither were very nice. <laughs> War ain't nice. Um, but the, the battles in the Pacific on Okinawa, Saipan, Iwo were especially brutal, because the Japanese knew their <clears throat> backs were up against the wall. We were getting closer to their uh, their home, and well, you fight hard for what you love and what you believe in, and that's. When you're getting close to the uh, home islands, in their case, yeah, there's going to be a hard-ass fight. Uh, and they gave it to us, but we gave it back just as good. Um, so anyway, today's December 7th, 2018. Let's give a, a thought and a prayer to those that came before us and made the ultimate sacrifice. Um, also, current current news. Look at today's Red Friday. Remember, everyone deployed. We just had a aircraft accident off the coast of Japan, well, in, over in the Sea of Japan, I believe it was. Uh, an F-18 and a KC-130 collided. <clears throat> a crew of 13, I believe, on the KC-130 and a crew of two. No, yeah, crew of two on the, in the Super Hornet. <clears throat> um, the uh, planes collided somehow during refueling operations. And I think only one has been found, six are missing. One or uh, one survivor, I think, and one was found missing, or six are six are still missing. Uh, and also the soldier, the unit that got hit, the uh, third special forces group in uh, Afghanistan that got hit by the ID last week, lost another one of that team. Um, I'm not sure if it was an attached uh, attached soldier. Uh, like the combat controller or if it was one of the uh, operators I am not certain at the moment but I know I heard one of the one more died so that's a total of four in Afghanistan in the past two weeks um, on a good note 37 Taliban blew themselves up uh, with their own bomb that's a plus karma bitch um, anyway on to the message uh, we've talked about planning your ascension not your demise gone over closure, gone over uh, the new normal, gone over planning it, uh, gone over uh, getting a boot in your ass if you need it, um, and uh, attitude. Today we're going to play a little bit off of the attitude. Anger. Uh, that is a big sentiment, and I think that comes from many places. One, uh, a lot of us in the military, women and men, are type A. We don't like failure. And when we see ourselves failing, we get pissed and we take it out on ourselves, mostly, and then we end up lashing out. Um, I know for me, uh, personally, I'm angry about a bunch of crap that I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm not so angry. It still pisses me off, but I've learned to work with it and learn to deal with it. Follow my own, follow my own damn plan. Um, I'll tell you what I'm pissed about. I'm pissed about my body betraying me just prior to going overseas. I'm pissed I didn't go to Iraq um, or Afghanistan because my heart my heart issues. Um, I'm pissed that I failed that I had a marriage completely fail on me which left my daughter in a broken home um, which sucks. 
and by the way, Cass, I love you. Um, the uh, I'm pissed at a bunch of shit um, that I've worked through. I am grateful for everything I have that you see behind me and inside that house. Um, but it still pisses me off that a marriage failed. Um, because like I said, it leaves my daughter in a broken home. Um, and I believe dads are important. Moms to me are infinitely more important because they do so much. But dad's guidance is important. And when it's not there, that can lead to some issues. Hasn't so far. I've, got, I've, I've helped raise a wonderful uh, young woman. And I'm proud of her. I hope she hears this. Um, but, uh, you know, it still pisses me off. Um, I don't like failure. I hate failure. I can't stand failure, and it makes me want to lash out when it does happen. But I got to be the adult, and I'm no longer that NCO that can knife hand the situation and put a boot in somebody's ass and fix it. I still put the boot. Um, most people don't know what the hell a knife hand is. <laughs> they don't know how severe it is. Um, but uh, they don't know that's the uh, magic uh, magic fixer. I kid. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Everybody has their reason for being angry, and that's that's fine. I mean, what can you do? It's, but, you know, there's Barbara. Feet cold yet? There's Barbara. Um, Love you, kid. Go back inside so you don't uh, get cold feet. And get ready for school, because I'm sure it's close. What? But uh, anger can ruin a lot of things, especially if you can't control it and say things you don't mean, uh, punch somebody or something that you're not that you shouldn't. Uh, the biggest flip out I've had, I beat up a Dodge Dakota because I, I was pissed off at pissed off at the world. My marriage had just failed. I was actually leaving the house that day on a breakup um, on, with the breakup and my truck died I don't know sand somehow got in the engine I don't know how I didn't put it there um, and I lost my shit I beat the fuck out of my truck um, I broke my hand I didn't I didn't go to the hospital I just that was my punishment for being a fucking idiot um, but uh, yeah, there was ten dents around the, around the back of the back end of my truck, um, all from you know Mr. Wright, and I messed up my hand. I don't know if you can tell here, but it's still not right. <laughs> I'll pay for that in a couple of years when the arthritis sets in. But like I said, it was punishment for me being an idiot. Um, so we have to learn how to mitigate our anger somehow, some way, um, through therapy, through just uh, goose fraba, letting shit go. Um, that's tough to do. You're not very talkative today at all. You okay? What's the winner? Nothing. I just asked if you're okay. You shook your head. <laughs> you said nothing. What's going on? Nothing. Okay. I'm fine. All right. Um, Oh, um, well, that explains it all. Um, but yeah, you got to learn how to mitigate your anger. I try to take personally 10 seconds in a deep damn breath and think about my response. I try. It doesn't always work. Sometimes the old, the old NCO comes flying out and I start yelling. Um, the uh, it could be tough to 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 do that because it is your learned response to a situation. So you kind of have to unlearn there, Padawan, and learn how to work through that anger without uh, losing your shit too bad. Um, take that ten seconds to think of a solution to the problem, not a lash. Um, but anyway, we're closing in on 10 minutes because I talked about Pearl Harbor and everything else for too long. All right, so I'm going to do some push-ups. But controlling anger, very important.
and it doesn't matter the reason for the anger. You still have to learn how to control it. You want to do some? Do them right. You're going to do it. Do it right. Like I tell you with everything. You're going to do something. Do them right. Are you ready? I'm doing right now. Mm, that's fine. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, one for the Airborne Ranger in the sky, one for Pearl Harbor, one for the infantry, and one for the fallen. When you do those, <laughs> how are your gloves wet? Oh, that answers that. <laughs> when you do those push-ups, make sure that your butt is down in your your former claim back to your knees. We're straight. All right. Do you want to do the subscriber? All right. So we have the YouTube channel. That underscore push up underscore guy tough. Hit the subscribe button. Notification bell. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, on Facebook. I'm Jim Tough. The uh, patch on my leg. Or, uh, the profile picture is the uh, patches on my leg for the second third fourth and seventh infantry divisions um no actually i changed it it's now my wife and my and myself with a christmas picture Whew. all right so i'm going to share in 17 groups please uh if you see them in the group and can't share them from there come to my main page uh and share from there i'd appreciate it I'm trying to get the word out I'm also on Twitter at Jim Tough, um, that push-up guy, Tough. Same thing as uh, YouTube. I'm getting trying to get it out there. Um, all right. Whew. Bottom line: If you need help, seek help. Get it from friends, family, professionals. No shame in getting help. Do what you got to do to be here. Um, Please do not use suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary or permanent problem. You got this. We will see you here Monday. You ready? You gonna do it or what? One, two, three. Tough, Tough out. out. Y'all have a good weekend. Bye.